Now our coverage of Colorado takes us to Centennial and the story of a very special delivery. A mother and baby are doing well after giving birth along the side of the road. Our Michael Abate had talked to the mom and the 911 dispatcher who helped make this a story with a happy ending. Now this shopping center in Centennial might be a great place to grab lunch, but it's not really a great place to have a baby. But one Colorado couple didn't really have a choice. Dr. Fire, what is the address of the emergency? Saul Flores and Adriana Alvarez aren't new parents. They already had three kids when it came time to go to the hospital to welcome number four. Contractions started around 8 a.m., started going to the hospital, water broke inside the car. That's when Saul knew he was in for a wild ride. I was actually like probably like on the second lane, so I turned as fast as I can to get into that parking lot. Adriana knew her baby was coming. So I had called her mom and she had told me that but if a woman says that they're not going to make it, call 911. In a building across town, Angie Shell, the lead dispatcher for South Metro Fire, picked up her phone. Got a call for, from a gentleman who said that uh, they just pulled yes. over. Yes, I'm in the parking lot in front of a Chipotle. He Chipotle. thought his wife was going into labor. So she pulled up her scripts to walk him through the birthing process. And raise her head with pillows. Because yes. I'm trying to catch up and get to where she is. Don't let her sit up too much, or, okay? Baby was coming faster than I could do it. And before either of them knew it. <laughs> oh my God, the baby's coming. She's coming out right now. Saul was prepared to do his best. She was telling me, you know, once the baby comes out, you know, just make sure you catch it. <laughs> well, I'm not medically trained for any of that. But just in the nick of time, help arrived. Okay, hon. Did you like that push? And you know, I was like, thank God. Baby Jaden was welcomed into this world coincidentally at 9-11 with the help of 9-11 dispatcher Angie Shell. Now we were celebrating here and high-fiving each other here. She says they don't get too many positive calls at dispatch, so this was a much welcome change. You gotta name the baby after the dispatcher. But for Saul, it may have been just a little too much excitement. Now that call was definitely the highlight of the day down at dispatch, but what made it even more special is that dad forgot to hang up the phone, so they got to hear the entire birth, including baby's first cry. In Centennial, Michael Abeta, covering Colorado first.